Charmaine Hickey, and I am the first, first Vice President of Women Council of Realtors Florida. My leadership journey started with an invitation to a luncheon. And when I walked into that room, the energy and the welcome that I received encouraged me really to keep coming back. Um, I think if you open the door as a new member and what I experience, anyone will keep coming back. What I also realized is that the support that I received from so many of the members who I did not know, but they supported me, they encouraged me. And then when I look at the education that I could use to increase my business and to grow not just my business, but to grow myself, I could put my true potential in front of me that I didn't even know I had. So that really opened my eyes because I'm very shy, still shy. That really opened my eyes and pushed me forward to continue to get involved and to be a member of the council. I have held various positions in women council. I was the 2017 president for St. Lucie. And then I went on to be the district vice president of the state, which is the best job ever. <laughs> and then I was encouraged. I thought that was where I'm going to stop. But as district vice president, it's like boots on the ground. And I like to be among the members. And when I see the contribution that I could make by supporting the members, encouraging them to move forward, then I decided to go one step further, only one, to be governor. But that didn't, did not happen. I kept going forward um, to the state treasurer, and now I am first vice president. So outside of Florida, I have also attended Women Council National Leadership Academy, which it was an eye-opener for me. Totally different. Um, the big thing for me was the friendship. I met women from all over the state. Mm -hmm. And they, we were able to help each other, you know, because there were things that I did not know. I always say, stay in your lane. But everyone has a different lane. And I learned so much at Leadership Academy so that I can take that back now to Florida and to help someone else. And that for me was really a huge step in my leadership journey. I think I inspired others by just being myself. And I want to make sure that whatever I say, I do. Whatever I commit to is what I am going to be successful at, like I'm committing to be, to go to the next level. I want other members to see that for each step that I've taken, I have educated myself, I've embraced that position and I learn as much as I can for the next level. So it is saying to these other members, do the same thing and you can go on that same road. It's not easy at times, but if it was easy, then we would not learn. But I know that in Florida, I know when members see Charmaine and they see my journey and they know the work that I've put in, it inspired them also. They say, well, if she can, I can. I love feedback. I know that at times um, you have to be, okay, so we're told that we need to surround ourselves with like minds or successful people. But for me at times, I need to move away from that and I need to be that bright light in the room. And the reason for that is if I'm that bright light, I can help to shine a light on someone else. I can help to inspire someone else. And as I said, I like to be among the members because I can hear what is going on. I can hear their problems. And that's where you get, you, you sort of get all the opportunities there now to improve on what, what was there before. You know, it's, it's not easy being a leader that you're just here and you're just leading from in front. Sometimes you have to go behind, right? And push forward, but support the other leaders who are coming up. And if you're not communicating with them, if you don't know what is going on, then you will just be there by yourself as a leader. Key to developing the next generation of leaders is not just to throw at them um, goals and responsibilities. I think we need to train them. For each position, there is different training. 
And I think sometimes we lose the opportunity to separate uh, people in groups because everyone learned different. And for last year, if you remember clearly, we did the treasurer's group where we put all treasurers together and we trained them. That has never happened before. But this year, we're doing the same thing with the secretaries. We are training them how to perform in their position. So we're not just giving them um, notes or not, we're not just standing and talking and say, this is what you need to do. We are there to show them and guide them. And this is how you build the next group of leaders. You prepare them, you give them a roadmap, you give them step by step and say, now do it, make your mistakes so you can learn and you will move forward. The biggest challenge I think facing today's leaders is that they're not listening. And you cannot lead if you're not listening to the people who went before you or your peers or the people who are coming behind you. You have to listen so that you know which road to take. Because sometimes the road that you're planning to take is not the road that you should be going. And sometimes it's not about you. If you we're going to be supporting women, supporting these members to push them forward, our support and our focus should be on these members, on these upcoming leaders, on these women, and not on ourselves. My continued leadership journey, it's uh, asking questions. <laughs> it's uh, learning as much as I can. I am stepping into another position. And just like this position, I had no idea what it was. You have, as I said, a job, job description, but it does not tell you how to perform the job. So what I'm doing is reach out to members, women, who were there before me, ask for their opinion, get feedback. And I know one person said to me, get your book and start writing your notes. So it's in preparation a year in advance for that next step. So in doing that, when I get there, I'm still going to be needing all the help I can get, but I will be more prepared to, I'd be more comfortable, more confident in being in that position. But the key thing is that I know that all these women around me will be there to help. I know that for sure. I'm a lover. I love people. I, I genuinely love people. And because of that love for people, I will go the extra mile to elevate the people I love, to elevate those that inspire to go into leadership because those are the wins for me. You know, I love when I get excited and I see the upcoming leaders when they take up a task that they did not know that they could accomplish and they succeed at it and they're excited. I get excited and I'm not doing the task. <laughs>